The decision to end visa requirements for travel between Guyana and Ghana were solidified by agreements. Signing those agreements earlier today were Guyana's Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Karen Cummins and her Ghanaian counterpart Shirley Botchwe. Afterwards, Director General of the Ministry of the Presidency, Joseph Harmon, explained what the visa-free travel agreement entails. What it means is that persons who are the holders of diplomatic, official and regular Guyanese passport can travel to Ghana and likewise Ghana can come to Guyana uh, without the requirement for a visa. In the initial stages they will be entitled to at least 90 days without having to renew but after 90 days then the requirement for a renewal based on the laws of the respective countries. Late last year, discussions were on the way in Guyana about developing an air bridge between Ghana and Guyana. In fact, the two governments had signed an air services agreement marking a commitment for direct flights between the countries. Meanwhile, Harmon explained that Ghana has an interest in Guyana's rum and forestry sector. There are also discussions for technical cooperation between the two countries in the oil and gas sector. For instance, Harmon revealed that a commitment was made for Ghana to pay for and send its oil and gas experts at its own expense. All Ghana would have to do, according to Harmon, is to find the accommodation for these experts. We're talking about um, capacity, capacity building. We're talking about the capacity of the Department of Energy. Ultimately, um, the President has spoken about the establishment of a Ministry of Energy and so that this is really going to require an expanded level of, of talent, of persons and their skills and so on. And so these are things that we are looking at right now. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News.